This video is about Ushka. In Polish, Ushka means little ears. That is because when they are formed, they look like little ears. Traditional Ushka are very small, and to make them small, one needs small fingers and a lot of patience. One starts with a pierogi dough circle of about three to five centimeters in diameter. To that circle, one adds a filling. In this video, I am adding the filling using a cookie press because it is much easier to use a cookie press than a spoon. With a cookie press, or a cake decorating bag if you will, you can control the amount of filling much more easily than if you use a spoon. To form the ushka, one simply folds the dough over the filling and uses one's fingertips to seal the edge. The next step is to take the wings of the ushka and fold them over your finger and crimp them together. I do this a few times in this video to show you the process. As you can see, the process is very slow. And if you have to make 100 ushka for a family or function, it takes quite a bit of time and can be quite tedious. So many people simply make a small traditionally formed pierogi. They are small enough to be added to the borscht and are fine for everyday meals. But at Christmas time, little ears are demanded by tradition. Rather than making them at Christmas, many Polish people purchase them in the specialty shops that provide well done, very small little ears. But more and more people in Poland are starting to use Ushka making tools. These tools make Ushka production very fast and very easy. And they can be used to make many tasty tidbits beyond Ushka. The Ushka are not formed as little ears, but they are small and perfect size to be added to borscht. In this video, you see an Ushka making tool being used to make mushroom-filled dumplings, or ushka. Using a cookie press to add the mushroom filling is very convenient with working with an ushka-making tool. The process entails sprinkling some flour over the tool so that the dough does not stick. The dough is then laying over the top of the tool. You will note that the pockets automatically form when the pierogi sinks into the holes. Just deposit filling as necessary to fill all the sinkholes. If you are using an Ushka tool for the first time, learn the amount of filling and how to use it by putting a small piece of dough over one edge and making three or four, four Ushka with the tool. By doing that, you will learn how much filling you should use before making 58 and finding out that you should have added more or less. Once you have the Ushka properly filled, lay a second piece of dough over the top and then seal it and cut the ushka with a rolling pin. Note how the rolling pin pushes the filling down into the holes, and notice how it cuts and separates the ushka. Turn the tool over and the ushka will drop out. In some cases, you may have to help with a slight touch. They are ready to be boiled. At the end of this video is a picture of the ushka that we made for this video and subsequently boiled for our own dinner table. This mushroom filling is particularly good, so we ignored the soup. We just ate ushka covered with butter. Sometimes I use apple filling, candled, candied cherries, cheesecake filling, sausage or other meat fillings, jams such as apricot, cherry, peach, and so on, and make dumplings that I put out as appetizers. On the side are toothpicks and bowls of dip such as sour cream, sweet cream, sugar, cinnamon sugar, and so on. People just love them. Get one of these tools. You'll love it. You can find them in the Polish recipe book linked below. I hope that this video has been informative. If you like it, please be so kind as to click on the thumbs up below. There is much more about making pierogi and Polish food at the Polish recipe book. There is a link to that below the video. Just click on that link and you will, be you will be taken to the Polish recipe book. And at the end of this video is more information about the Polish recipe book and how to get it. Have a good day.